Hi, sweetheart. Found some of your paperwork. My paperwork? Yes, your paperwork. You had this when you were at the hotel today? Oh, right. I was helping Robert hand these out. Really? Mm-hmm. I thought you were working on the counterfeiting case. Well, I am. You said once this counterfeiting case is over, you're going to quit the police force, but now you're working on another case. I am not working on another case. Exactly. You weren't going to tell me about this, were you? Honey, I was helping Robert hand these out. What is the big deal? I'm talking deal? about this guy, Emil. The one you arrested for pulling a knife on Colton. Oh. Yes. Oh. I'm involved in this because of Anna. What does Anna have to do with this? This man, Emil, is connected to Victor Jerome's murder. Now, she wants to find out who killed Victor Jerome, because whoever it was is going to pick up right where he left off. Oh. Yes, oh. Well, okay. You've got him, so You can quit now. Well, it's not that simple. There was a big diamond heist in New York right before Victor Jerome escaped from prison. And we think Emil set it up. But they found Victor Jerome dead. But they didn't find the diamonds. And he can lead us to them. Why are you getting yourself involved with this? You promised me you wouldn't. It's going to be over tonight. What do you mean, tonight? We've got a tip that the diamonds are going to be handed over this evening. It's going to happen in a warehouse behind Donnelly Shipping. So then everything's all taken care of, then. Exactly. Now, would you like something to eat? You're going to the warehouse, aren't you? You're going to put yourself in danger again. Felicia, I have you back in my life. That's what I've wanted. Now, I'm not going to do anything stupid. Hey? Excuse me, but there's a phone call for you. Okay. Thanks, Ruby. Thank you. <clears throat> Will you hold my seat? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Hello. Hi, uh, Frisco. Uh, this is Eileen Matheson. Remember me? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, one who rented the apartment over Max Boat Shop, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, I'm in Montreal right now, and, uh... <sighs> well, the truth is, I was thinking about you. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Um, I'm gonna be back in Port Charles tomorrow, and, and I thought maybe it would be fun if... if, if you and I got together. I'm, you know, if, if you're not busy. No. No, I'm not busy at all. Actually, that sounds like a good idea. Oh, <laughs> good. Uh, well, then, um, I'll see you tomorrow. More police business? You know, you should have been the cop. You're more suspicious than I am. I'm sorry, honey, I gotta run. I love you. I'll see you in a while. Frisco. Oh, you know, I really do have to get going. All that work that piled up while I was gone, I gotta take care of it. Yeah, well, you look like you got a lot of energy. Um, you must be taking your vitamins again. <laughs> well, um, I really have to get going. I'm sorry I couldn't have that drink with you, Scott. I apologize for being so abrupt, okay? Oh, it's okay. I've, I've gotta go meet with Tracy anyways. Really? Well, that seems like a thrill. <laughs> no, no, not for me. You know, I lost a lot of money on that scam we had set up, you know, to get Alan. You know, Scott, I really want to tell you I told you so, but you don't even seem upset by that. It's only money. When the hell did you start thinking like that? Well, you know, there's a, there's a lot of investments out there if a guy just keeps his eyes open. I don't like that attitude, Scott. Where did that come from? What is this, a new lease on life or something? No, I just feel like I'm on my way now. I, I mean, I, I feel that way. If you're behind me, are you behind me? Well, of course. I've been behind you all the way so far, haven't I? Yes, you have. You know what? If you're going to meet the Ms. Quartermain, I think maybe you better put on a fresh shirt, huh? Yeah, that's a good idea. I keep my image 